What's going on everybody? Greenwood Evil here. And it's been a rough and busy couple days for me, but this past weekend I went to the Pokemon Sun and Moon pre-release. And I actually competed in my first pre-release tournament in like 10 years, so it's been a long time. But I wanted to make this video today to show you guys some of the polls that I got and some of the situation that happened while I was there. It was pretty funny. In the games, of course. Nothing crazy happened uh, elsewhere. But anyway, let's get to it. So, basically, this was four packs and a 22-pack, um, like, uh, they call it, like, a evolution pack that helped you build your deck. It was a 40-card deck. And this was my promo that I got. So, apparently, everyone said, see, I'm not, I'm not familiar with these cards. I went into it pretty much blind. But um, everyone said this was the, sh the 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 junkie or the crappy of the promos you can get, and of course I got it. So you know that's that's how that goes. It went in my deck. I never even used it once. Um, I like the vivid charge um, attack, but I never even got to use it. Um, anyway, let me show you some cards that uh, I pulled also in the packs. I pulled a Cosmoim right here, Reverse Hollow. So that's nice. It's a rare. Um, didn't run Psychic in the deck. I ran uh, Colorless with um, Water and Fighting, but um, this was a nice pull to get. I also pulled a um, Reverse Hollow Kangaskhan out of the packs. So this went in the deck. I never even got to use it, but it went in the deck. It sat on my bench in one of the games. Um, I like the Crosscut attack. Hurricane Punch is a little tough. I don't like f uh, flipping coin abilities. But this was, it was in there, because it's a nice basic Pokemon with 130 HP. You know, worst comes to worst, you put this out on a field, and it's a wall while you build up your bench, you know, if, if nothing else. But anyway, my two best cards that were in the, in the deck that I'll show you before my major card that I pulled out of these packs. For as a Pessimian, uh, with the team play, this attack does 30 more damage for each of your bench po uh, Pessimian. So basically... Um, you would have like, you know, three or four, as many you had, I had three. So basically it would do like, um, it would do, uh, 70 damage it was a pretty, for, for two colorless. So it was a really easy, it was a really easy two damage. And plus, um, it's a basic Pokemon, so you can search it with a nest ball. And that's what I did a couple times. But not really, because I'll show you what I ran my nest ball on. Um, but, uh, Fling was good too. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That was always nice to hit the bench. In, I noticed in pre-release games, it's nice to hit the bench because most people put out a wall Pokemon and then will just try to build up whoever they re they're really looking to put out on the field. Um, but anyway, let me show you who else I got. I also got, uh, I ran Hariyama because um, he came in the evolution pack with the Passimian. I guess they were kind of telling me, hey man, build a fighting deck. You might as well build a fighting deck because they give you a bunch of fighting cards. Um, so I did with water, but I didn't really have any special water Pokemon. Um, I will show you later who was in my deck that also screwed me over when I when I uh, played against it. It was it's a good Pokemon for pre-release. I'm not sure if it's going to be. It's a, it's the new Cloister card. Uh, Cloister has a uh, this attack. I'll show you later, but um, it's nasty. Anyway, um, but I, I ran Hariyama, um, uh, Megaton Slap Punch, a push. I mean, come on, 130 damage for four. And push out your opponent switches your uh, their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. You can bring out a, you, you make them bring out a weak Pokemon or whatever. Um, but I ran him. Uh, but then the best pull of these four packs out of this pre-release box was clearly Tauros GX, who was my go-to card in this deck that I built. Um, he's really cheap. He only he's really cheap in multiple ways than one. He's cheap because his attacks are cheap, and he's cheap because he's He's, he's a beast. You can get him with a nest ball. That's all I did. And now, of course, with the new mechanic, the GX attack, um, he did 30 damage times the number of damage counters on him. That's nuts. Now, I know you can only use GX attacks once per game, um, no matter how many Pokemon GX you have in your deck. But anyway, this guy was, was smoking things for like 200 damage. It was nuts. Uh, and also, Horn Attack for 60 for 2, just, that's it, 2 colors for 60 damage is nasty. And also, um, Rage, it's, uh, 20 plus 10 for each damage counter on him, so, um, also very powerful, can pretty much smack 150 very quickly. This guy was the MVP of my deck. Uh, I, I went 1 and 3, I got beat up pretty bad, but 
Tauros was uh, Tauros was out there in the first game I played, which went to um, sudden death. We went into time and then sudden death, and he got his SP on GX out after he knocked out my Tauros GX. So I was pretty much uh, a sitting duck for him to get my last prize card. Regardless, this card is a beast, and I built the. I'm gonna build a deck around this. This card is awesome. Um, but let me show you um, the card I'm talking about that beat me up pretty bad. Cloister. A regular, rare Cloister. Um, 120 HP. This was the move. Headlock. One water and a colorless. Flip a coin if heads this attack does 30 more damage. Okay, fair. 60 damage. But no. If tails, you're... Yeah, yeah. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Um... The, the funny part about that was um, he would hit and he kept flipping coins for 60. So he would have a, a low level 120 HP and somehow he had the luck to hit those those heads and get, you know, 60, 60, 60, 60. Sort of like using using him, but I don't know how he got close to out so fast every game. It was nuts. Um, but guard press is also really good. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes uh, 20 less damage from attacks. That's just period. 20 less damage. Um, Cloyster messed me up pretty bad. Um, and then I got to use him once in my last game and beat someone with him. So I mean, it was pretty funny. I mean, he's pretty. He's probably going to only be like a pre-release uh, card where he would be good in a pre-release deck for 40 cards, you know, whatever. Um, but he was fun to use, and but it was a pain in the butt to... Um, pain in the butt for me to get dealt with that. But anyway, um, also... Oh, but before I get go any further, um, I'm also going to be cracking open a um, a uh, Mega Rayquaza uh, little pack here with three packs: uh, a Phantom Forces, a Primal Clash, and a Roaring Skies. I've never opened a Roaring Skies pack, so obviously we're hoping for for Shaman or Rayquaza or whatever. I mean, it's ve the chances are very low in a pack, but you never know. And then you got the sweet Rayquaza pin. But anyway, after the pre-release, they um, we we did a draft five packs draft I'm sure whoever's watching knows what a draft is if not I can explain it uh, if you leave a com drop a comment or whatever I'll explain what it is um, but anyway I, got, I did pretty good I did a lot of um, a lot of reverse hollows today as you can see uh, at the pre-release I got a Hitmon, a Hitmonchan reverse um, didn't use him but he's still nice uh, I got a full uh, a regular hollow Crobat um, this Crobat is nasty. Uh, this guy gave me a problem too in the pre-release tournament. Uh, his triple poison. That's nasty. Uh, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Put three damage counters instead of one on that Pokemon between turns. Put three. That was nuts. I'm getting hit 30 damage between turns regardless of him attacking me. And then of course, he can do Surprise Strike. If this Pokemon was on the bench and became your active Pokemon, this does attack to 60 more damage. Regardless. He's going to be hitting you for 90, because if he just does surprise attack, uh, triple poison, and then surprise attack, 90 damage. It's He's a good card. This is a good card. Um, and then also pulled a nice Dragonite, regular hollow. Um, super beastly. HP 160, uh, Dragon Wave. Discard a, uh, um, a Leaf and Electric Energy from this Pokemon for 130. And then Giant Tail for 5 colorless. Flip a coin if Tails is attacked. Nothing for 200 points of damage. Now, um... I was hearing some, uh, <coughs> sorry, I was hearing some, um, uh, some talk at the pre-release about Dragon Wave being a pretty good attack because, um, I haven't been, you know, back and playing very long, so there's a couple of sets ago or a set ago or whatever, um, that there was like a double dragon, uh, energy or something that you can discard in place of the leaf and electric if I heard that person talking correctly, so that's pretty nice, uh, a very cheap 130 damage of course, you know, I could be hearing things and they could be wrong or whatever. But um, anyway. Um, and then my big pull from the uh, the draft was a Decidueye GX. Awesome card. Another awesome card. I actually built a Tauros and Decidueye deck just because both of these cards are beast. So this ability, Feather Arrow, once during your turn before you attack, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. That's it. Two damage counters on any of them. I go, oh, let me pick that one. Boom, damage counters. And then Razor Leaf for 90. Uh, but then Hollow Hunt GX, its GX attack is nice. Um, put 
three cards from your discard pile back into your hand. It doesn't say specifically what kind of cards. So any three cards you want out of your uh, discard pile back to your hand. Excellent, excellent card. Um, used it once in the in the draft uh, tournament, and it was awesome. Uh, but then also, after the fact, after the draft, I pulled... No, I didn't pull. I traded for a Decidueye. Uh, reverse hollow, which was pretty cool, put in the deck, so all my deciduous are hollow. And then, boom, another Tauros. We have two Tauroses in our deck now. Oh, we're seeing double. Tauros is a monster. I don't know if he's going to be, you know, like a beast. Like I saw him be. You hit, you hit him. He hits harder because he has more damage counters on him. He's a beast. He might be one of the better cards in the deck. I think so. Um, in the set, excuse me. I think so. Um, but anyway, those that was my pre-release. Pretty fun. Uh, definitely want to do it again. And then, so let's open up this. We'll leave the wrong skies pack for last. Let's open this up. Oh, all right. Oh boy, do I hate these things. There we go. We have 01 Phantom Force. We have 01 Primal Clash. And we have 01 Roaring Skies, which will be saved for last. And then, of course, you can't forget our cool pin, because that's what we do it for. We do it for the pins. I do it for the pins. This pin, Mega Rayquaza, very sweet. A lot of people say Rayquaza. I don't know. I as I was growing up, I would say Rayquaza. So I don't know, whatever. Um, sorry if I pronounce it wrong, but I just say Rayquaza because it just sounds a little bit better than saying Rayquaza. Um, anyway, let's open these packs. Let's do oh Primal Clash first. I'm assuming that the card trick is the same for these packs. I don't know. But anyway, there's a, car, uh, a code for you guys. Boom. And it's one, two, three, and one, two. Okay. So we got a Weedle, a Barbroach, a Sfeel, Beetle, Chinchu, Electric, Ele Electric, Electric, basically. I don't know. Uh, some of these Pokemon I don't know, like I said in another video. The X and Y Pokemon I'm not really sure about. Weakness Policy, Knit Arena, a Reverse Rare Candy, and a Hollow Manaphy. So we we got a Hollow Manaphy in our first pack, so that's better better than nothing. We'll leave our Manaphy right there. Uh, reverse, reverse Rare Candy is nice, too. Let's just put that down. Might as well, right? Phantom Forces. One pack of Phantom Forces. Not looking, Not expecting much... Just wanted to give you guys a video and talk about the pre-release because it was fun, fun, fun. Code for you guys. Do the re do the whole thing there. All right. Uh, a Yanma, a Puchina, a Swirlix, Wismer. Oh, we got something. I'm just gonna go right to it. I'm sorry. Just gonna go right to it. Oh, that's nice. A Mega. Manetric. Manectric. Manectric. That's awesome. So much Pokemon I just don't know. Uh, Golbat. Was Golbat a reverse? No, it's a... It's an uncommon. But, oh, nice. We got a Mega. That's great. So, good, good, good. Good. We are doing good on these three packs. And now, the pack of packs. Roaring Skies. Let us... Let us pray... One, two, three. I don't think we got anything, but you never know. A Sphero, Dunsparce, Wurmple, Talio, Bagon, Silicoon, Steven, a Dragonair, a P-Dove, and a Deoxys Hollow. So we actually did pull a Hollow, but that is awesome. We got a Mega. Oh, sweet. Uh, uh, the P-Dove is a common. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna keep that over there. Let's just be real. Let's do a quick review of our cards. I put the Reverse Rare Candy because Reverse Rare Candy. Uh, Deoxys, Manaphy, and M Manic Trick. Yeah. Manic Trick. 
Mana Trick EX. Awesome. What does it even do? Let's see. Uh, attach two basic energy cards from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. That's pretty cool. Uh, Mega Evolution, of course, right as you evolve it. Mega Evolution, your turn ends unless otherwise stated. But anyway, guys, that was pretty much it. Our, uh, our packs for today were actually very good. We got, uh, basically got a hollow in almost every pack. Did very nice. Uh, of course, don't forget, I'm saying it now, I'm calling it, I'm calling it now, Tauros GX is a monster. Tauros GX is a monster, and he is awesome to use. And he's actually kind of cheap on the retreat, too. Three, not too bad, especially if you run a double of colorless energy on him. Can you imagine that? First turn, Tauros GX on the field, boom, double colorless energy. I can smack for 60 first turn. What? It's insane. It's, it, it's just crazy. This card is awesome. This is going to be something. I can't wait for February 3rd. I'm going to buy, oh, I'm going to buy a box on February 3rd and do a video for you guys, so... Uh, you know, like, subscribe down below or over here, and I'm gonna put some videos on the side here you can click on. Um, but yeah, I, I'm excited for uh, Sun and Moon. It looks excellent. It looks excellent, excellent. Uh, maybe one day I may build a, this Dragonite deck. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, guys, take it easy. Peace.